All right, check out what I got in the mail today. These are the new dual carb intakes, right, for your uh, side or front, depending on how you have your engine mounted. All right, you can see it without reed cages. Um, so these are injection molded. You know, once they come out, then it gets a CNC uh, job just to, to knock off the, the extra little casting pieces. And then blasted, so it's got that, that real nice cast uh, finish on it. And then CNC'd one more time on the gasket surfaces, All right? So right here, you can see the, the gasket surface has been machined. Then, you know, this uh, this top gasket uh, surface that's been machined as well. So these will take any of the factory, um, West Bend, Chrysler, aftermarket, anybody that made a reed cage um, to fit the, the factory single carb intake will fit on here. All you do is take your reed cage, right? Make sure your pulse hole fittings are on opposite outside corners, right? And then cut off that little mounting uh, tab in the in the middle, right? That's all you gotta do. Same thing with the, the bottom gasket, just take some scissors, cut off that, that little tab, okay? And then your factory uh, reed cages will drop right in there, all right? You got precision, uh, injection molded, then CNC machined, and now you have uh, the cool factor of uh two carbs on top the potential to do a four carb engine like the really nice one uh that bill Pryor put uh put on bring a trailer and then you know besides all that more power obviously more flow more fuel more power um and just something that that hasn't been made in in decades really this is based off of a k lab uh intake and i, I liked it because it had both reed cages um, horizontally, right, uh, oriented versus I've seen some gym ones that have like this one, um, this one horizontal and this one vertical or, or vice versa. This one's horizontal, this one's vertical. Um, and, and what I don't like about that is that you have to, uh, you have to drill another pulse hole fitting, which, you know, that, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but you have to turn your reed cage and then you'll see like there's a little indent right there. You have to drill a new pulse hole fitting. Um, and then, uh, you know, it just, it, it just, uh, it means you can't use this reed cage for anything else. Once you do that, you know, now that, that, uh, that intake and that carb is, is permanently oriented in that position. So even with this tab being cut off, I can still use this reed cage in any other 820 if I decide to go down uh, to a single intake. All right, so here's the intake, All right? You can see you just cut off that little mounting tab. Do the same thing to this gasket, A pair of scissors, cut that off. And then uh, you're ready to go.